Oof. Squeeze. Ooh. That hurts so good. Ooh. Oof. What's up everybody? So are you one of those people that put so much time in the gym but still feel like you're lacking motivation and hurting your gains? Well that all ends today because for this video I put together five mistakes that you're probably making that's actually tarnishing and hurting your gains. So by the end of this video you're making gains like no other. So guys, without further ado, welcome to the RB Effect. Like that? Yeah. Good. Damn, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Reggie B. So we all know that the goal of going inside the gym is to make gains and build muscle. And we think because of the time and effort that we put inside of the gym, that's supposed to automatically happen. It's like studying for a math test, but with a science book. Just because you're putting in the time of studying, yes, you're getting a lot of knowledge, but at the end of the day, you're still studying with the science book. You're always gonna fall short, which is the same exact thing when it comes to fitness. Just because you're putting in all that work, if you're not doing the proper form and exercises, executing them correctly, you're always gonna fall short of making the proper gains that you're looking for. So what I'm gonna go over of the mistakes and also I'm gonna teach you how to fix them so by the end of this video, you're gonna be working out the best of the ability, getting most out of the time that you put in. So guys, we're just gonna jump right into this video. So you guys ready? Let's get it. Mistake number one, not focusing on the eccentric part of the movement of the exercise. So we all know that we're always focused on the concentric part, which is the contraction of the muscle. But a lot of the times we lack that time under tension on the eccentric part, which are the negatives. So as you see here, this is a common thing that you see everybody doing. They're getting the rep done. But as you see here, I'm focused and I'm squeezing at the bottom. But then I'm letting the weight take control and I just let myself come back at the top. That's a little bit of a rest period. You don't want that. So you want to focus on that little second of the squeeze and then you want to focus on the eccentric part, which now is the time of the tension. Guys, if you don't know how to focus on that eccentric, give yourself at least five seconds on the up part of the motion. You want to bring all the way down, squeeze, and then one, two, three, four, five to 90 degrees and all the way back down. Guys, try this out. Mistake number two, swinging. So a lot of us lifters out there, we lift with ego. We're all focused about actually moving that weight. When you should be focused on getting the best out of that in particular movement. So a lot of times you see a lot of guys, they're doing that. So if you see here, it looks like I'm lifting from afar. But being honest, I'm not actually feeling anything in my bicep. I'm actually putting a lot of the tension onto my lower back and my front part of my shoulders. So you see here, I'm using that momentum. I'm hyper extending my back. Then I'm pushing my shoulders forward to lift the weight. It's not all about that. You want to actually keep those shoulder blades completely back, elbows at the side, and then use that nice perfect form keeping the tension onto the bicep the entire time. It's all about that squeeze, it's all about that time under tension. Because if you're using your back and other muscles to help, you don't realize you're putting yourself at risk of injury, especially that lower back, by using that swing. So guys, stop swinging. Mistake number three, lacking full range of motion. Don't get me wrong, doing partial reps is actually okay, like if you're doing 21s. You're going all the way from the bottom to the middle, and then for the other part, you're going from top to the middle. That's okay because that's the task at hand. But a lot of times when you see individuals inside of the gym, they're just doing partial reps just because they're trying to get the exercise done. It's not about just trying to get the exercise. It's about trying to get the best out of that exercise. So doing a full range of motion is gonna help lengthen and shorten up the muscle. Getting the muscle to fill up with blood, which is gonna get the best benefit. So when you're doing full range of motion, especially on in kind curls, you'll see a lot of partial reps. It's not about that. You wanna literally let that muscle drag and then contract and squeeze all the way up the top. And then you're gonna go all the way back down, letting the muscle drag and lengthen, and then bring it all the way back at the top and squeeze. Guys, full range of motion is very important, so try this out. Mistake number four, not focusing on different variation of angles with each muscle group. So you see a lot of individuals do when they go inside the gym, they have a plan, I wanna focus on biceps, but they don't realize that they're doing a lot of different exercises, but focusing on the same muscle group. You gotta realize that bicep is broken down into two heads, the short and the long, so for the exercises that you're picking, should be focusing on each individual head. So for example, if we're gonna focus on biceps today, there's different placements of the elbow. So you have elbows placed right next to you as you're doing bicep curls, and then you have when your elbows are in front of you, it's just focusing on a different part of the bicep. And then when you have, just a second ago, when you seen I was doing inclined bicep curls, my elbows was pointed in behind me. So the different placement of elbows, the different placement of exercise and the variation of exercises is targeting different part of that muscle. So if you're trying to get the best out of each exercise, have a plan in mind and know what specific exercise you're gonna focus to make that muscle grow. 
Mistake number five, lack of mind muscle connection. For example, it's like if I'm trying to move my fingers. If I don't know what this finger feels like, I'm just gonna have all my fingers move. But if I have that mind muscle connection to say, move the pointer, I can do this. Same thing goes with building muscle. If I'm just doing bicep curls, I don't know that mind muscle connection, all I'm doing is just moving my arm. But if I wanna have the muscle gain, you have to have that mind muscle connection squeezing, especially as you see here, I'm gonna do triceps. It's all about that squeeze. So right now, I can feel and I have that connection with this lateral head of the muscle. So as I squeeze all the way down, I come back up, I go all the way down and I squeeze. It's not about getting the movement done. It's about getting the best out of that movement and having that mind-muscle connection is very important. All right, guys, there goes my video. Hope you enjoyed. There's so many different ways of building muscle, but there's also so many different ways of hurting your muscle gain. And hopefully this video helps you with these five mistakes of how to fix these in particular mistakes that you're probably making when you're going inside the gym. So the next time you do go inside the gym, you're getting the best out of the workout and you're getting the best out of the time that you're putting inside of the gym. So guys, again, before we end this video, don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know how this video goes. What other future exercises you want me to focus on? Also, don't forget to hit that notification button so you know my next video comes out. It's your boy Reggie B. Like my video, subscribe to my video so your boy can be back. And if you do that, I'll be real proud of you. Metamorphosis complete.